When you're working in the collaborative Google Drive uh, suite of apps, sometimes you find that you have a little bit too much collaboration. You want to share something with people, but you don't want them to edit certain parts of it. There is a very cool way to protect certain parts of your Google Sheets using a tool called Protect Sheet. So I wanted to show you that in this video. Here I have my slope intercept form calculator and there are certain things that I want to make sure that my users don't edit. So for example, I have a place for my users to enter their slope and their y-intercept, but I want all of these results to all appear based on my formulas. So I don't want them to type in there. I want to make sure that they are not editing the things and accidentally deleting the formulas, thus making the calculator ineffective. So what I can do is I can select the cells that I want to protect. And there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest way is to go down to the particular sheet, click on that drop down, and go to Protect Sheet. So you have uh, a couple of options here after you enter your description. I'm going to put it, I'm going to call it table. I can protect the whole sheet or I can protect a range of cells. Since I'm wanting to only protect the table, I want them to be able to add in their slope and y-intercept. I'm going to choose range. So right now it has my range selected for me. If I'm not happy with that, I can change my data range. Once you have everything set up, you say set permissions. And what happens is you can, uh, first off, you can show a warning when editing is done, or you can just straight up say, you can't edit this. So restricting who can edit this range um, allows you to select or deselect certain people who can edit it. So here I have two people, me, uh, shared on the stock, and if I don't want one of the users to be able to edit it, I can unselect it. Under custom, you have a couple of options. You can say only you, so that's if it's saved with a lot of people and you don't want to deal with all of the uh, checkboxes. You can also copy permissions from another range that you have in the sheet. If you already set it up and you already deleted all sorts of people's names, you can pull it over. This is a place where you can also add certain editors to these particular cells, which is kind of cool if you want certain people to be able to edit them. So that would be protecting a particular range. If you want to protect a whole sheet, you can do the same thing. I'm going to close the sidebar just so you can see what would happen if I didn't have it open, but you can add sheets and ranges just by clicking add sheet and range right away. Close that. I'm going to click on, I'll do this one. I'm going to say protect sheet. And this time I want the whole sheet and it has it listed alt rows. I can go down though and change which one it was. So just using the drop down on any of the sheets you can still add protection to any of the other sheets at that time or change your mind. So I'm going to do alt rows. This time I want the whole sheet. And yeah, whole sheet. Uh, you can also choose to accept certain cells. So this might have been something I would have done on the y equals mx plus b sheets and say they can't edit anything except for the two I'm allowing them to type into. And that'll allow you to add a certain range of cells that are acceptable for editing. Just like before, when you click set permissions, you have the exact same options. Nothing changes in there. You can um, check and uncheck people who can edit it as well as make it just you and uh, so on. So it's exactly the same at that point. So now you know how you can protect your sheets and your ranges. So that way you can share information and make sure that it isn't edited unless you want it to be.